Hi friends, welcome to the Python for Beginners course and uh, in this video we are going to talk of some more list operations. So the very first thing is how we define an empty list. How we define an empty list in a Python programming language. So that's how we define. We just need to type in the name of the variable then equal to and then these two square brackets and that's how we define a list in a so let's just try to do it a equal to two square brackets and that's it we have a empty list and it doesn't contain anything so if we try to find out the length of this particular list will get zero so we have no element inside this list at the moment and if we and if we go and find out the type of a which type of uh, variable a is we can use the type function from the built-in library and uh, it returns us as list so a is a list and uh, it is having zero members inside it now now that we have defined a empty list how can we add data to it so we have this function called append and uh, this function is specific to list and uh, if we have a list type of object we can use the append function to store data from to store data inside it so if we put in a dot append then and inside the parenthesis we can write whatever we want so if we put in zero and now print a we have seen that a is containing zero at this moment and what if we append zero one more time and, uh, as you see the list initially contains the zero and now we have appended one more zero to the list so it is having two zeros for now and if we want to append any data which we want let's say we want to append 10.0 then we can do it this way and uh, it will append 10.0 at the end of the list so we have now three members in this list 0 0 and 10.0 now what if we put in we define the list which is already containing data in the next line so if we do it this way then it will actually go and uh, overwrite the list that means whatever we are having in the list for this moment will be erased so if you see we have uh, three elements in inside the list for this moment and if we go and define the empty string empty list as a then uh, it will overwrite a and now a will have nothing inside it so you have to be very sure when you are defining some list or if you are overriding it because it may cause you problems and you need to be very careful with this now we have a function called range and uh, this is also a built-in function in python and what it does is uh, returns a list of uh, values ranging from 0 to a value which we passed in so if we passed in 5 it will return a list of 5 elements and uh, these 5 elements will be 0 1 2 3 4 and uh, this 5 won't be included so it will go and return a list starting from 0 up to the value minus 1 which we have passed into the function. So 
if we simply typed in if we simply type in range 5 it's going to go and return a list of 5 elements from 0 to 4 and if we use it this way then uh, it will go and return this list and this list then will be saved into this variable a now if we type in a we have a list of five elements inside a that's how the range function works our next function is insert so if you see here actually let me minimize it a bit okay now good so we have a next function which is insert and what insert does is it takes two arguments the first argument is the index at which we want to insert the data and uh, the second argument is uh, the data which we want to insert in in the list so at this moment we have this list containing 1 0 1 2 3 4 and uh, if we want to insert an element inside it with some at zeroth index with some value let's say 42 it will go and insert now if you see at the zeroth index we have 42 so these all are displaced and we have got 42 at the zeroth index and that's how it is different from append if we append something let me show you so if we append something then that's gonna be added to the list at the end so if you see we have got 64 at the last of the list but if we insert some something to the list then we can insert at any index so let's say we insert at index 2 now at the index 2 we have got 1 here previously and if we print in list here you see we have 35 at the second index and uh, all these elements are post 1 post 1 index now there's a function called delete and this function is used to delete the data structure or particular elements of the data structure so, so what's wrong so sorry for the now we are here at delete so how we use delete is uh, very simple whatever we, we want to delete we passed in as the argument to the keyword delete so we put in delete keyword del and then the particular value which we want to delete so we want to delete the a2 which we just inserted at this time and if we delete a2 then a will be having this and this 35 is deleted from the list now we have this operation called reverse and uh, this reverse is used to simply reverse the string reverse the list so whatever we have at the starting will be at the end after this operation and whatever we have at the start will be at the end and whatever we it is at the end will be at the start so it will simply reverse so if we put in a reverse we see 64 was at the last and now it is at the first place 
and this will go on first will be 64 then 4 3 2 1 0 and 42 so it will print in list in the reverse order now we have a sort function and uh, sort is used to sort the list in the increasing order so if we perform the sort operation on a list it will sort all the elements of the list in an increasing order now if you see we have all the elements in increasing order all right now we have already covered we have already covered this type function and this is used to define the type of the data which we have passed in to as the argument and uh, this is interesting we want to now append a, a list inside another list and that's how we do it and let me show you here what we are doing actually is we are now calling the append function here and uh, as you know append function takes an argument and uh, whatever we we pass in to the append function is appended at the end of the list so what if we type in and uh, what if we pass a list to the append function so we have this list which is having 20 and uh, 25 at the moment and uh, we are appending this list to this existing list a which is having these values previously stored and if we see now we have this list as it is and then the list is appended to the end of the list so if we see the this is at the 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7th index so if we print out the 7th index we got another list and that's how we store a list inside another list this is a list 20 and 25 and uh, this list is stored in inside this list a and uh, this is at the index 7 and if we type in if we identify the data type of uh, the element a7 then we get the list and that confirms that a list is in, a list is is inserted or stored inside another list and uh, that's it for this video i hope you like it and if you have uh, any queries or uh, doubts regarding this uh, particular video or uh, anything in this course you can uh, reach me out at uh, at myrelghost at gmail dot com or you can comment in the comment box below. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel at myrelghost and uh, keep watching.